the performance of total knee replacement requires a measured bony resection of the articular surfaces of the tibia and femur, paying attention to the axial and rotational alignment of these resections. Ligamentous releases are then performed to attain adequate balance of the knee. The case demonstrated in this video is that of a varus osteoarthritis of the knee requiring typical releases off the medial aspect of the patient's tibia. A standard anterior midline incision is performed carrying down through the skin and subcutaneous tissue to the level of the patellar retinaculum. The medial peripatellar arthrotomy is performed starting in the quadriceps tendon and extending around the medial aspect of the patella. The knife is kept deeply uh, situated within the incision to cut the medial meniscus as the blade is brought over the front aspect of the tibia. The crucial point in a varus release is releasing the medial capsule off the medial aspect of the tibia while maintaining the continuity of the medial capsular sleeve. As the medial dissection is performed, the medial capsular sleeve is elevated off of the peripheral portion of the medial meniscus. However, a small portion of the peripheral fibers of the meniscus are left attached to the capsular sleeve to ensure its continuity. In this case, the dissection is carried approximately two centimeters below the level of the joint line to correct this patient's deformity. To complete the posterior portion of this release, an osteotome is driven gently in the same interval back to the posteromedial corner of the knee. One of the often neglected aspects of soft tissue balancing is to remove all osteophytes off of both the medial and lateral condyles to ensure that the collateral ligaments are not tinted as they run from the femur to the tibia. In order to attain proper ligamentous balance, the bony resection must achieve a rectangular extension gap as well as a rectangular flexion gap. In this case, the bony resection is referenced off the posterior condylar axis. This particular total knee system uses metal runners that fit against the posterior condyles of the femur to determine the rotation of the femoral component.